bloodshed in the palace. Xi Emperor Jingzong Li Wanhu's Empress, Nuri. Nuri was the original favorite concubine of Li Yuan Hao, the king of Xi. When Yuan Hao formally claimed the title of emperor and established the state. In the first year of the Heavenly Rites and Laws of Yanzhou 103 A.C., D. Noli was also named Empress Shanqing. Yuan Hao was a member of the Danghang ethnic group, whose original surname was Tuoba, and who was given the surname Li. In the Tang dynasty, Xiao in the Song dynasty, and Li in the Xia dynasty. Li Yuan Hao was also known as An Xiao. His father, Li Diyeming, was a Yao feudal lord. His father, Li Diyeming, was appointed king of Daxia by Liao and king of Xia by Song Renzang. He practiced the policy of alliance with Liao and Song, which enabled the Xia, a predominantly nomadic country of the Tangshan clan, to recuperate and live in peace. His territory encompassed a vast area from the Heto to the Chulian Mountains. Yuan Hao was inside for, but untamed since his childhood. Di Yeming greatly respected him, but he was also apprehensive about him. Because he knew that Yuan Hao had objections to his bowing down to Song and Liao. In fact, at that time, Daxia could almost be said to have formed a three-legged rivalry with Song and Liao, which was the result of Li Deming's hard work for more than 30 years, and he was very proud of it. In October 1032, when Deming's life was in danger in the city of Xingzhou near Yinchun, Ningxia, located outside the Seychelles, they had a heated argument. At that time, Li Di Yeming repeatedly urged Yuan Hao not to move his troops quickly, saying, since your grandfather, my Dao Xai, has been fighting with Song for many years, and I am exhausted. It was only later that we were able to turn war into peace. In the past 30 years, we have not only expanded the boundaries of our country, but also allowed our people to live and work in peace and contentment, and our subordinates to wear brocade and cloth and live in palaces and pavilions, and to stand on the same footing with the Southern Dynasty referring to the Song Dynasty and the Northern Dynasty referring to the Liao Dynasty. Such a situation is not easy to come by, so we should not go to war so easily, for we will lose a great deal for a small cause. Yuan Hao who had come to visit his father's condition and to treat him, ignored this and argued with the Yeming, saying, My father is the lord of Xia, but even his family name is given to Tang and Song, which is a great shame for the Tuoba family, the Danghang people, and even for the great Xia. He also declared that Danghang and Tuoba were the strongest people in China, and that he would spare no effort to win the world and dominate this great country. Although Di Ming tried to persuade Yuan Hao repeatedly, his son was still not enlightened, so he was furious and finally died. Yuan Hao succeeded to the throne. After that, Yuan Hao subdued Tubo and captured the three states of Kua present day Anxi and Gansu, SHA present day Dunhuang in Gansu, and Xu present day Jiquin in Gansu of the Hui migratory birds, thus bringing the Western Corridor under his control. At the same time, Yuan Hao took a step backwards and remained a vassal to Song and Liao, and the two dynasties still offered him great courtesy and abundant gifts. As Yuan Hao's position became more vigorous, his desire to build a state and become an emperor grew stronger and stronger, and the ruling group of Danghang nobles embraced him. Yuan Hao was keen on preserving and promoting the culture of the Dangsha people. Yuan Hao issued the bald hair order, limiting baldness to three days after which he was executed. He changed the costumes to make them fit the nomadic life. He ordered people to refer to the Chinese characters and created the Dangxiang script, later known as Twixie script. He also changed the name of Xinzhou to Xinqingfu, expanded it and made it the capital, and made reference to the Song system to set up the official system, set up the court institutions and all official positions could be held by both the Dangxiang and the Han Chinese and also established the army. He also established an army. Since De Ming's death, the relationship between his mother, Wei Mu, and Yuan Hao had become increasingly tense, and she was anxious that he would destroy the kingdom built by his father and ancestor. The uncle of the state, Wei Mashanxi, who was highly favored by Di Yeming, had been neglected by Yuan Hao, and he often revealed his wish in front of his sister, Empress Dowager, with ulterior motives. It so happened that the son of the state uncle disobeyed the boredness order and did not go bored on the fourth day. 
after the order was issued, and he even sent his minions to fight before being taken away by the inspection team. Not only did Yuan Hao not listen to Empress Dowager's pleas, but he also had the son of the state uncle executed and drowned the whole family of Wei Mashanxi. Ultimately, even Yuan Hao's mother, Empress Dowager Wei Mushi, was poisoned to death. As for Yuan Hao's matricide, Nuri was a stranger to the world, neither in favor of nor against it. She learned about it after the fact and did not participate, nor did she ever ask questions about it. Yuan Hao became the Empress six years later, 1038, and lived a life of luxury. But despite the many beauties in his harem, Yi Li was still favored by all of them, which was enough to satisfy herself. Noni was born with a long body, a beautiful appearance, and demonic beauty. Yuan Hao favored and feared her. She liked to wear a kind of Qi Yun crown, woven with gold wire. And Yuan Hao ordered other people not to wear it, and the favor was apparent. Noli had three sons, but her third son, Tuoli, died early. The eldest son, Ningming, was the crown prince when Yuan Hao established the state. Ningming was intelligent and highly righteous. He was kind and did not like wealth and riches. At that time, he had a Taoist priest named Lu Xu Huang as his teacher, practicing Pai Gu Fa. Yuan Hao did not think so. One day, Yuan Hao asked Ening Ming how to maintain health, and Ening Ming replied, I don't want to kill people. Yuan Hao also asked, what is the art of ruling a country? Ening Ming said, being good at being indifferent to desires. Yuan Hao was angry and rebuked, this son is not good in words. He has no weapon of a king. He ordered Ening Ming not to see him. Ening Ming stopped asking about state affairs and practiced Taoism. Later, he became so obsessed with Taoism that he could not eat or drink and died. Before his death, Ening Ming told Yuan Hao that he hoped his father would care for the people's hardships. After Ening Ming's death, Yuan Hao regretted his death and was very sad. After his death, Yuan Hao regretted his death and was very saddened. Therefore, his second son, Ening Linga, succeeded him as the crown prince. Ening Linga not only looks like Yuan Hao, but even the character of violence, but also like his father. Yuan Hao is also very favored. Wantonly what he did, Ening Linga became the crown prince, more unjust. Yuan Hao's consort, Mozang, is a large clan of the Danghang Mozang, an all-mountain daughter, looking elegant and delicate. Yuan Hao was to be assigned to the crown prince Ening Linga. See her graceful and elegant Gupan Chan Deep, so they took as a consort the number of new queen. Yuan Hao also created a palace in Tendu Mountain northwest of Guan, present Ening Xia with seven halls, extremely spectacular, for him to eat, drink, and play with the Nozomi and to get away with it. Noli's uncle, Tendushan General Noli, was very dissatisfied and said, my daughter has been married for 20 years, but she can only live in her old house, and now that I have newly acquired the Muzeng clan, I will build a palace for them. Why do you attach such importance to it? Yuan Hao, who was already suspicious and murderous, was worried that the Nuri brothers would not be able to get away with it. And Song also took advantage of the opportunity to play a counterplot, so Yuan Hao got rid of the Nuri brothers and their family members. It turned out that Yuan Hao's descendants, the Noli clan, were the prominent supporters of Yuan Hao's establishment of the state and his claim to be the emperor. Noli Wangrung and Noli Mushichi were both important officials of Yuan Hao, and they were in charge of the troops of the left and right sides of Xia, and they had won many battles against Song. It is not difficult to understand that the Song would try to alienate Yuan Hao from the Noli tribe, and Yuan Hao's headstrong and brutal nature also doomed him to failure. After Yuan Hao got rid of the Yoli brothers, he gradually came to his senses and regretted too much. After that, Noli kept crying and weeping before Yuan Hao, telling him that his two uncles had died unjustly. At first, Yuan Hao beat his chest and shouted to the heavens, but he did not expect this mistake to lead to marriage. It changed Queen Noli's destiny and greatly influenced the destiny of the first Xi state. It turned out that when Nuri was executed, his wife, Muzang, heard the news and went into exile and hid herself. With Yuli's accommodation, Yuan Hao brought her to the Xingzhou Palace. She was already over 30 years old, and had it not been for Yuli's insistence, 
Yvonne Howe would never have had the chance to meet her. As she knelt to thank him for his kindness and got up to leave, Yvonne Howe's eyes lit up, and he was struck by the fact that she was making secret glances at him. At this time, Yuan Hao realized that she was full-bodied and light, and her skin color was fair and red. And immediately, the two of them were in love, and they knew each other by heart. Soon, Mu Zhang was favored by Yuan Hao, and they forgot all the beauties in the harem. And naturally, the Empress Noli was even more critical. When Yuli found out, Yuan Hao had to let her become a nun, giving her the name of Master Mu Zhang. And living in the Preceptor's Temple in the capital city of Xinqing, Yuan Hao was so fond of Mu Zheng that he often visited the temple to meet her, and even took her with him on hunting trips. In the tenth year of the Emperor's Rituals 107, she gave birth to Yuan Hao's son, that later Yu Zhongleng Zhuo, for which she was named Empress, while the older and weaker Nuri was abrogated and put in the Cold Palace, where she was not allowed to see her. Then Yuan Hao also appointed Mo Zheng's brother, Mo Zheng Xiaopan, as the Minister of State, presiding over military and state affairs. At the same time, he and Mo Zheng enjoyed themselves in the palace on Helen Mountain. Prince Enning Lingo was deeply dissatisfied with his father's abolition of his mother and complained a lot. Mo Zheng Kampong took advantage of this and instigated Enning Lingo to rebel, attempting to kill him with a sword, remove him Lingo and install Azuma as the crown prince. By this time, any Linga had already become an adult and was like his father, a big man who was good at riding and shooting. Before this, Yuan Hao had repeatedly said he would choose a concubine for him, and then he had chosen a small, delicate and delicate girl. But since the emperor summoned this little girl and said that he wanted to finish the wedding date for the two of them, there was no more news. Enning Linga had no idea that Yuan Hao had already had an affair with her at the instigation of Mu Zhang Black Pang. Enning Linga believed in Black Pang's words and secretly contacted his clan members, waiting for the opportunity to strike. During the Lantern Festival in 1048, Yuan Hao got drunk with his concubines in the palace. Enning Linga sneaked into the palace to assassinate Yuan Hao. When he entered Yuan Hao's bedchamber with his sword hidden in his pocket, he saw his father sleeping with the girl who was supposed to be his consort. Enning Linga was so shocked that he almost fainted. For a while, he was burning with rage, almost to madness. He hurriedly took out his belt knife and used all his strength to slash at his father. Yuan Hao woke up in a panic and cut off Yuan Hao's nose. At this time, the soldiers who had already been ambushed by the order of Nose and Black Pang at the palace gate verged out to save the emperor. Enning Linga fled and had no place to hide, so he ran to Black Black Black's home to avoid the storm. It was a clear case of throwing himself into the net, and Black Pang immediately arrested him in a stern voice. Yuan Hao was humiliated and annoyed by losing his son's nose, so he had Enning Linga and Noli, who had already been sent to the Cold Palace, executed for regicide. 